Hey, Jeremy here. I was just configuring some of the equipment for the new CCNA 2020 at CBT Nuggets, and I was using my Apple laptop, and I had the thought, I bet you a lot of people out there haven't configured a console connection from an Apple laptop before. So let me show you real quick how to do that. So I've got my Apple laptop here, console cable, cup of coffee, stack of Cisco equipment. So this is a USB-C to console connection. You can buy these off of Amazon or any other, I'd say high techy kind of place. The nice thing about these is they go straight from USB-C to console rather than needing a serial connection in between. The driver software that you get for this uh, allows this to emulate a serial port. And by the way, I'm gonna assume you've got that as the prereq. You bought this, you went to the website, downloaded whatever driver software you needed and installed it on the laptop. Now, I'm gonna take you on the laptop and type in the command ls forward slash dev, which is Linux's way or FreeBSD's way of showing all the devices that are installed on, on here. Now, you can see right here, I haven't actually plugged this in yet. And let me filter this down. I'll do list ls forward slash dev forward slash star USB star, hit the enter key and it says no such file or directory. Watch this. I'm gonna take this, plug it in. Now again, driver software is installed or else you will see no change. Uh, take a cup of coffee just so it mm, has a sec to load that. Hit the up arrow and bada bing. We've got two devices that show cu.usb serial and tty USB serial. You'll want the one with the tty name. I'm gonna highlight that whole line, copy it to my clipboard and then type in the command screen forward slash, or sorry, uh, space forward slash dev, blah, blah, blah. I'll paste that right in there, space, and then whatever baud rate I want to assign to this. I'll put 9,600 baud because that's the standard for Cisco. I hit enter, screen blanks out. I'm now in terminal mode. I'm gonna take this cable and plug it into my Cisco 1921 router right there. It's the core router I'm gonna use at the headquarters office in the, the new CCNA. We're connected back to the screen hit the enter key a couple times, and we're sitting there right at the initial config dialog. That means this router is booted up waiting for me to do something, and that's the rest of the CCNA is configuring this router to make it do all kinds of things. So there it is, the quick configuration of an Apple laptop to get it ready to configure some Cisco devices. It's pretty simple when you know how to do it. If you haven't done that before, it is Googling to high heaven to put all those puzzle pieces together. Regardless, I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.